guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be another workout. We all love a good workout and I'm here to give you guys a good lower body glute workout. We're gonna be doing some at home things that are going to focus directly on the under butt and the glutes itself. You don't have to have any weights or any equipment for this, though if you want to, you can always spice up your workout while using those. But like I said, at home, lower body, glute specific workout. I really hope you enjoy this workout. I really hope you guys feel the burn. Make sure you're taking little to no rest if possible to keep your heart rate up to help burn some of that fat. But I'm gonna stop chit chatting right here and we're gonna go ahead and get into this at home booty specific workout for you guys. If you're ready, let's go ahead and get started. Okay guys, so starting off this workout, I kind of did this as my warm up, but also to really focus on my glutes to get them more specifically warmed up, I went ahead and did three sets of 20 reps for just a body weight squat. But as you can see, as I'm doing this, I'm really focusing on pushing my butt back, driving up through my heels and giving my glutes a big squeeze at the top. It's about two to three seconds when I first start out my first set. And as I continue, I make those a little bit longer. Um, this is really key to warming up your glutes and that way when you start to get into the exercises that are more glute specific, you don't have to worry about your glutes not being warmed up and ready to go and they just jump right in and take that exercise for a full workout and they're just ready to go. So again, you can see right here just pushing that butt back and getting a huge glute squeeze. As you get more warmed up, it seems to get a little bit easier to hold that squeeze and to focus on it. We are going to be doing another thing to one slightly warm up the glutes a little bit more and really just engage the glutes. So I've been doing glute bridges. Normally I will do them flat on the floor or as you guys have seen here on my channel in the past, I will go ahead and elevate my feet. But for this one, I decided to raise my back up or elevate my upper body, which I've been doing the past couple times. I went ahead and did three sets of 15 reps. Cat is optional for added weight, but really pushing up my hips so they create a little mountain top. I'm having all my weight in my heels while squeezing my glutes for about two to three seconds at the top is the big deal right here. As you can see, I'm really focusing on that glute squeeze because that is what is most important right here and you should be feeling it directly after this exercise. Moving in to our next exercise, we're going to be doing Bulgarian split squats. I absolutely love these. Um, you're just going to go ahead and elevate your back foot. So I just use the edge of my couch. It is more comfortable, um, I think, than a chair or a bench, but whatever you have, you may use. I went ahead and did 15 reps of these on each side. I did only do two sets. This one does get my hips a little bit, so make sure you're all stretched out and ready to go. But your goal is to get nice and nice and low. You can see I'm getting very, very low and look how high my foot is elevated. So just watch that and make sure your front knee does not go over that front toe because we do not want to injure that toe. Also, as you can see, this is my second set right here that we're jumping into and my chest is dropping. Just focus on keeping that chest up, keeping all that body weight over your hips to really focus on those glutes because you will be feeling it after this one. So two sets of 15 reps on each side. Decided to try this new exercise right here. Um, it's like a seated squat. I've done this on my channel before, but I've done it on a Smith machine at the gym. I think this is what has my hips super sore and the sides of my butt. As you can see, I'm really focusing again, like my squats, pushing my butt really far back and then giving it a big, big glute squeeze at the top. Um, this one, I did feel a little bit of popping in my knee. So just kind of watch out for that, but I loved this exercise. So definitely give this one a try. Three sets of 15 reps and you should be feeling it. But again, those glute squeezes and all of these movements are what is key and what is number one. One of my all time favorite exercises is three sets of 15 reps for right here for a curtsy lunge. Um, I've done these many, many ways, but when I really want a good glute focused exercise, and doing curtsy lunges, just standing in place doing it is what I do. So I held on, and which I do for a lot of my lunges, I hold on to something. Like I said, I have a tendency to drop my chest in a lot of these lunging movements. So by keeping my hand on something, it forces me to keep my chest up a little bit. As you can see, I constantly look down because I'm trying to drop my chest, but keeping that hand there, it kind of stabilizes me from doing that. So that's personal preference, but three sets of 15 reps on each side. This little three set combo thing right here. We have 10 reps of these next three exercises and they're all back to back. So first we will be doing 10 reps for a sumo squat, pushing those feet out a little bit wider than normal and toes slightly outward a little bit more than normal with a huge, huge glute, glute squeeze at the top because that is how we get our inner thighs as well. Then we will do, go directly into 10 pulse squats. This is where you start to feel the burn 
not only in the glutes, but significantly in the quads. And then heel raises, which you'll be able to see in the next scene right here. Um, just do 10 of those as well. Lift your heels up off the floor. So 10 sumo squats, 10 pulsing squats, and 10 of those heel raises. And you will be feeling it because it just burns everything. I promise you. Go ahead and do three sets of those. This one, you get the burn, but it is very easy to knock out. Here is a, another super set, something a little more simple. I went ahead and did inward donkey kicks. So it's a donkey kick, but I bring my knee all the way to my chest and then push it all the way out. When I push it out, you can see that I really get a, get a nice little round booty there with that butt cheek because I'm giving it a little squeeze, a little squeeze right there. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I'm squeezing it. So I went ahead and did 15 reps of these on each side. And then from that, I directly went right back to my opposite leg and did 15 donkey kicks without the bringing my knee in. I only go about parallel down and then up all the way. Big squeeze. Again, when you're bringing that butt cheek up, give it a big squeeze, making sure you're keeping your hips as square to the floor as possible. Just focus on that. So 15 reps of the donkey kickbacks, both kinds on each side. We're going to be doing three total sets of those. I really hope you guys enjoyed that one because that one had my booty burning. But we are here to be finishing up and we're going to be finishing with reverse lunges with a knee up. Again, that knee is just engaging the core and your balance and really focusing on the exercise in itself. So just watch that. But we're doing 15 reps of those on each side for three rounds. Your quads will be feeling it. Your booty feels it in a reverse lunge, especially after everything you've already done. So I hope you guys enjoyed this whole booty workout. Let me know how it goes. Enjoy it, make it your own, or change the reps and sets if you need to. But I will talk to you all in my next video. Bye guys. I'm a cool girl. I'm a, I'm a cool girl.